Hey there, everybody. Pete Pardo here from Sea Tranquility. Uh, again, one of those days where we report on things that we're pretty upset about. Uh, today is another one of those days. So we have lost the great Robbie Steinhardt today at the age of 71, who passed away uh, after a bout with uh, pancreatitis and sepsis. Uh, apparently he's been sick with that since like May, uh, but was recovering nicely and then had a little bit of a setback just today and it got dire really, really quick. And uh, the great vocalist and violinist from Kansas uh, has left us. Born Robert Eugene Steinhardt, May 25th, 1950. Born in Chicago, Illinois. Uh, originally, though, made his home in Lawrence, Kansas. Uh, and he actually died in Tampa, Florida, where he's been uh, living for quite some time. So, of course, you know, Robbie and the rest of the guys in Kansas uh, put that classic American progressive rock band together and uh, released a string of great albums. Sorry if I look like complete shit today, but uh, I was uh, out doing some stuff outdoors all day today, and uh, I actually found out about Robbie's death as I was driving to where I was going. Uh, otherwise, I would have done this this morning, and it hit me pretty hard, and it's uh, it's been preying on my mind all day long. I don't normally like to uh, do these so f you know long after I f hear the news, uh, so I've had the whole day to kind of contemplate this and uh, you know get ready for it, and uh, you know as as most people know who watch this channel, I'm a huge fan of Kansas. Uh, I love Robbie's vocals. His uh, Obviously, his violin style is, or his violin in general, is what made Kansas such a unique and different band. So there were a lot of other hard rock and prog bands pop coming out of the woodwork at that time. But Kansas, of course, were something different because, uh, you know, their sound firmly rooted in the kind of... Uh, geography where they came from right so that kind of like upper midwest so to speak uh greatly influenced by the progressive rock bands of britain and the uk all right they band has long said uh their love for yes and genesis and gentle giant and king crimson what have you right but here you've got uh two keyboard players two guitar players one of the guys Kerry Livgren played guitar and keyboards. Rich Williams on guitar. Steve Walsh, of course, on uh, keyboards and vocals. Robbie Steinhardt on vocals and violin. Rich Hope on bass. And, of course, uh, Phil E. Hart on drums. So, you know, they come out with this album in very early 70s here. All right, 1974 to be, to be exact. And, uh, you know, there they are. And Robbie, always the guy with the big hair. Okay, and the big beard, and these guys, you know, would dress just, you know, like a bunch of farmers. I mean, that was what kind of set them, you know, they weren't out there wearing all the fancy clothes and the leather and what have you, and the, but, you know, their sound was something really special. You know, Can I Tell You, Lonely Wind, Balexis. I mean, these are really cool songs. Journey from Mariabron, The Pilgrimage, Apricou and Death of Mother Nature Suite. You know, big guitar riffs, lots of great guitar solos. Keyboards all over the place. Hammond organ, Moog synthesizer, and that soaring violin. And those dual lead vocals. All right. Steve and Robbie didn't sound at all alike. But that's what made them so special. Usually one would take up lead vocals in a song. Sometimes you got both of them singing in the same song. Some would sing the verse. One of them would sing the verse. One would sing the chorus, right? But they both had really different styles. I think, you know, Steve had that really powerful soaring vocal style. All right. Majestic, melodic. Whereas Robbie had, oh, he could sing, you know, lovely stuff too. But he handled a lot of the more hard rock stuff. Okay. Very distinct vocal styles. Of course, uh, Song for America would come next. Again, classic stuff. Down the Road, the title track, Song for America, long known as one of their best. Lamplight Symphony, Lonely Street, The Devil Game, Incomudro, Hymns of the Atman. I mean, some really cool, majestic, challenging instrumental passages. You know, how often did you hear the violin weaving with the guitars and the keyboards? Just part of the sound. It's just part of what made Kansas so unique. A mask would come next, right? Child of Innocence, Takes a Woman's Love, Two Cents Worth, Icarus, Born on Wings of Steel. Mysteries and Mayhem, The Pinnacle, 
I mean, great stuff, great stuff. But of course, it was Left Overture that really made the band superstars. And you can't do this album without Robbie Steinhardt's vocals and violin. All right, you got Carry On Wayward Son, right? The big, big hit. You got The Wall, gorgeous stuff. What's On My Mind, Miracles Out of Nowhere, Opus Insert, Questions of My Childhood, Cheyenne Anthem, and of course, Magnum Opus. They would go on to sell even more records with their next one, Point of No Return. All right. I command the lightning's hand. Robbie could get sinister when he wanted to. You got Point of No Return on here. Paradox, the spider. Portrait, he knew. Closet Chronicles. Dust in the Wind. Sparks of the Tempest. Sings great on that one as well, right? Nobody's Home. Hopelessly Human. It's classic stuff. And you can hear the band doing all their best stuff right on here. Two for the show, the live album, of course, you know. Get the expanded version. It's got even more stuff on there. Okay, they release Monolith. Another really, perhaps their last classic record from that era. Maybe not quite the classic as the, all the ones that came before. Still really good. I really like Audio Visions a lot too. Little less Robbie on this. Okay, a little more guitar record, but still playing. Still just enough violin. All right. And then, uh, you know, you've got the some of the records uh, later on. Vinyl Confessions I like quite a bit. But again, you can hear the 80s are all settling in, in here. Uh, this, again, a lot more keyboards. Definitely more poppy. You know, you got John Elefante replacing Steve Walsh here. Robbie's still here, but, you know, he would leave shortly thereafter. Of course, they would get back with Steve for power. Mr. Steve Morse comes in. Walsh comes back. Steve Morse comes in. By this time, you've got um, Kerry is gone. Okay. Robbie's off doing other things. But Robbie comes back for somewhere to elsewhere. Many years later, Magna Carta Records. Good to hear him back with the band. It would only last for this one album. You know, they do some live stuff and live albums and what have you. But it wouldn't last. All right. And, of course, they would go back to a Robbie-less band with another violin player, of course, who they've had in the band for quite a, quite a long time. So this would be the last time, the last studio album, we would hear Robbie Steinhardt in the band. But, you know, he's been, he's been doing some stuff on his end. He actually... Uh, has a solo record that he has been working on for the last year or two, maybe a little bit longer than that, that from what I have read is finished and will be released later this year. What sucks is uh, he and some of the guys he's been recording the album with uh, were planning on doing like a Robbie Steinhardt solo tour, which is now not going to happen, which really sucks. Uh, would have been great to see Robbie back out there playing music again uh and if you know we're not going to see him in kansas it would be good to see him doing something i am actually awaiting uh the new record because uh you know as a longtime kansas fan and a big fan lover of his violin and vocals um it'll be cool to hear i will welcome that album even though sadly we will be mourning the loss of the man himself so uh yeah so, and you know, what hurts about this is this is, as my friend Steve Fleck uh, pointed out this morning, this is the first time that death has struck the Kansas camp. Um, you know, for most of us who follow so many of these bands from the 60s, 70s, and 80s, we've seen this, you know, quite a bit in recent years. We're going to see a lot more of it. Uh, however, this band has up to this point remained unscathed, but not anymore. Robbie Steinhardt leaves us at the age of 71. July, uh, what is today? The 19th, right? 18th, 19th, 19th, I guess. Although he actually passed away. Uh, I, I think the official date is, uh, they're saying was the 17th. It's being reported today. But, uh, yeah, it actually happened on the 17th. So, uh, Robbie Steinhardt, rest in peace. You are one of the greats. And, uh, Everybody go and listen to some classic, classic Kansas uh, for the next couple days. And uh, in honor and tribute of uh, a great musician, great singer, Robbie Steinhardt. Visit us on the web at www.chtranquility.org. We're on Facebook, we're on Twitter. Of course, we are on YouTube all the damn time. 
for Robbie Steinhardt, I am Pete Pardo. Um, be well. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.